reaction from 2020 Democrats to those explosive reports about that whistleblower complaint against the president. Some Democrats unleashing as the allegations feed major concerns about the upcoming election. I have no comment except the president should start to uh, be president. Donald Trump appears to be collaborating with foreign governments to attack America's democracy. Clearly doesn't get the job of what it means to be president of the United States. This is extremely disturbing. This really raises so many questions about what uh, is happening, uh, what they're trying to hide, and why. It's time for Congress to step up and begin serious impeachment proceedings against this man. Biden's written statement more forceful. Joe Biden demanding the transcript of the call in question be released so Americans can judge for themselves. Joining me now is Teslin Figaro, former National Social Justice Director for Bernie Sanders' 2016 campaign, and Boston Herald radio host Adriana Cohen, also a nationally syndicated columnist. Great to have you both here. And Teslin, I want to get your take on those responses from the 2020 Democrats. So far, if this is what they're going up against in this election, are they prepared to come combat it. Well, what I see is that uh, Democrats are singing while Republicans are swinging. Uh, you know, Joe Biden's response initially, you know, when he came out and said that, hey, you know, the president just needs to uh, do a better job being president. Meanwhile, President Trump told the media that they were an absolute joke. Uh, so the, so I don't see, um, you know, the same type of vigor that we should see on the Democrat side. And I, and I just, to be honest with you, I just don't think they're prepared at this point. Um, it's going to take them to be a lot more aggressive, stop playing games. Either you're going to impeach or either you're not, uh, you know, trying to do an inquiry or, you know, some type of dog and pony show we see last week that failed you know that blew up in democrats face and it was embarrassing so there's a lot that needs to be done not just from democrat candidates but um the actual congress you know what are democrats doing in congress and adriana president trump added to questions with his non-denial of the reports yesterday he was asked whether he discussed joe biden his son or his family with the leader of ukraine here's his response it doesn't matter what I discuss, but I will say this. Somebody ought to look into Joe Biden's statement because it was disgraceful where he talked about uh, billions of dollars that he's not giving to a certain country unless a certain prosecutor is taken off the case. So uh, somebody ought to look into that. How problematic is that response, especially given all of the history around foreign election interference in 2016? I don't see a problem with the president's statement whatsoever. He's highlighting the elephant in the room that if, uh, you know, Joe Biden's actions that he bragged about at the uh, Foreign Council relations meeting on video, we have him on tape admitting he was bragging about strong arming Ukraine, that if they didn't remove this prosecutor that was um, investigating this natural gas company where his son, Hunter Biden, was a board member, that he was going to withhold a um, billion dollars in a U.S. loan. And then he bragged that, you know, within a couple of hours, um, this, this prosecutor was fired. So there's a huge double standard here. Democrats want to paint this picture that it's wrong to um, for have U.S. officials speaking with foreign governments to get opposition research on a candidate. But we see that the Democrats have done this time and time again. I mean, the, the DNC and Hillary Clinton's campaign paid for Russian dirt to use against uh, President Trump during the last presidential election. And then also the Ukrainian embassy yeah. has reported that it, a DNC contractor, uh, Alexandra Chalupa, uh, was trying to get dirt on Paul Manafort during the, the last presidential election, too. So there's clearly a double and, standard here. And, Teslin, I want to get your reaction to this. What do you make of President Trump's response? I think his response has been what it's always been. He's told the media to go ahead and, and blow it up big so it can blow up in their faces. So um, the media, uh, well, not, I won't even say the media, but Joe Biden has to be very careful with asking uh, that that information gets released because if it does uh, blow up uh, in his face, it will not only hurt um, Joe, uh, Joe Biden, but it will hurt President Trump as well. You know, Rudy Giuliani yesterday also bragged about uh, being uh, asking a foreign government to look into Joe Biden's affairs. So it's going to hurt both sides, but it's certainly going to hurt Joe Biden. Biden uh, more so than President Trump because President Trump has already has has his base locked in, period. Uh, so it, it will certainly hurt Biden worse than it will Trump. And Adriana, shouldn't Republicans be worried about what's in that complaint and the transcript of the president's call? I mean, why haven't they been calling for their release? 
Uh, well, first off, I think that Democrats are making a grave mistake, the, the candidates like Elizabeth Warren and so forth, because calling for impeachment when they haven't yet seen the transcript. We all need to take a deep breath. They do especially. And let's see what's in that transcript to see if there was any wrongdoing. Until then, uh, the Washington, uh, excuse me, the Wall Street Journal has reported that there was no uh, quid pro quo in President Trump's phone call with the Ukrainian um, president. Uh, so uh, until we see otherwise, we still we see the transcript, no one should be calling for, you know, impeachment on this. Well, we will certainly look forward to seeing what we can find out in the com that complaint. Teslin Figaro and Adriana Cohen, thanks for joining us on this Saturday morning. Thank, Thank you, you for being Thank here. You. And at the top of the